Assalamu alaikum uh, friends, how are you? Uh, today we are going to talk about another very important uh, lecture that is uh, mechanism of ivermectin uh, against the coronavirus. As you guys know that ivermectin is basically an FDA approved drug against the uh, parasitic infections. Uh, but in recent study it has been uh, shown that this drug also has some antiviral mechanisms. In a recent study uh, basically the study was in vitro like it was uh, done outside of the body uh, which explained that this drug can reduce the viral RNA load up to 5000 fold in 48 uh, hours in, within two days so obviously uh, till now we do not have any clinical trial uh, so we cannot say that this is this ivermectin drug is basically FDA approved for the coronavirus obviously you guys know that without clinical trials FDA cannot prove any drug uh, for specific disease but yes this drug is FDA approved but for the parasitic infection not for the coronavirus and uh, I am very much sure that uh, uh, if this drug uh, gets some clinical trial hopefully this will be approved for the coronavirus uh, as well because in vitro study uh, it is showing very promising result and uh, furthermore uh, this drug is very safe. It is considered as very safe as compared to hydroxychloroquine and other antiviral mechanisms. Sorry, and other antiviral drug. So if this get uh, drug approval for from FDA for this COVID-19, uh, I think that it will, it will be a great outbreak uh, against this coronavirus disease. But in my video, I will not be talking about uh, the uh, paper, the study that has been done. Uh, I will be talking about the mechanism of action, the possible mechanism of action that Ivermectin will be doing against the coronavirus. How this drug is going to inhibit the coronavirus. So, <clears throat> uh, first of all, let me tell you about the structure of coronavirus. Basically, all the things of attachment and replication of coronavirus I have ex explained in my previous video. So, uh, in this video, I will briefly explain these uh, steps. For detailed uh, study about this step, how this virus will get attached over the cell and how it will get entered into the cell, uh, you can visit my previous videos. So uh, let's see, uh, in my previous videos I have explained, I have told you that there is a protein that is called as spike protein. Spike protein that is present over the coronavirus and with the help of this spike protein, it will attach over the ACE2 protein, ACE2 protein on the uh, pneumocyte and after this attachment this virus will get entered into the cell okay and now uh, uh, first of all it will be uh, taken into the endosome uh, after the endosome uh, there will be a lysis and uh, the RNA will get released. I have uh, I'm also going to explain that all the detailed lecture has been explained in the previous video this is a very uh, short summary so what will happen here you can see that viral RNA will interact with that toll like receptor 3 that is present on the endosome okay and here you can see the toll like receptor are also present on the outer surface of cell that will recognize this virus toll like receptor are basically pattern recognition receptor they recognize the pattern of any foreign particle and they are able to differentiate between uh, self and foreign antigen. With the uh, help of the pattern over these viruses and bacteria, they can identify that this virus, this particle is foreign or, and this particle is uh, self antigen. So as they will get to know that this is foreign particle and again, these toll like receptor 3 and with the help of this toll like receptor 4, they will activate some transcription factor or through a signaling pathway they will activate some transcription factor the most important one is interferon regulatory factor 3 again i will repeat interferon regulatory factor 3 and nu uh, nuclear factor kb nuclear factor kb these two are transcription factor and they are very important transcription factor for expressing for expressing the gene of interferon that is present on the DNA. So what will uh, they do? These transcription, they will basically cause the overexpression of, they will cause the expression of, sorry, interferon gene that is present in, uh, on the DNA of our cell. And when this gene will be expressed, interferon will be produced. Okay. Now, we know that this 
इंटरफेरोन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ इनेट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स फॉर द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ इनेट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स आई आई आर इनेट इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स ऑब्वियसली दिस इंटरफेरोन इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू अट्रैक्ट एंड गोइंग टू इन्वाइट अदर लिफोसाइड ऑन टूवर्ड दिस टिश्यू this going this interferon is uh, going to help for the transmigration invitation of other wbcs that we have been attacked by the virus please come here okay so it means this interferon is very helpful for activation of innate immune response what is innate immune response i have also explained in the previous video in a very detailed uh, uh, lecture you can also visit for the further study okay now what will happen the capsid cp capsid proteins you know that uh, this virus has uh, envelope protein that is the uh, that is outermost uh, pro protein layer uh, then it it is having a capsid protein that is protecting uh, genome of virus okay now this capsid protein has not only structural uh, activities has not only structural activities it also has some anti uh, some of the functions like what they will do they will get enter into the nucleus they will get enter into the nucleus and they will inhibit the interferon gene expression they will inhibit the interferon gene expression if interferon gene expression is being inhibited what do you think what will happen obviously our innate immune response will not activate our immune system will not be able to attack on the virus so it means our antiviral mechanism our cells antiviral mechanism that was uh, going to be activated with the help of interferon uh, is is being is being inhibited by the uh, capsid protein okay because these protein will go and they will uh, down regulate the uh, interferon gene expression now what will happen but there is a problem these capsid protein cannot get enter into the uh, nucleus this nuclear pore complex they cannot get enter into nucleus with the help of this nuclear pore complex they need some cargo proteins they need some cargo protein and the name of those cargo proteins like important alpha and important beta this is the complex of protein okay and with the by using this complex this capsid protein will bind over this complex and with the help of this uh, complex it will get enter into the nucleus and once it will get enter into the nucleus it will inhibit our antiviral mechanism it will inhibit the expression of interferon you can say that it is going to inhibit our innate immune response against the virus okay so now what is the mechanism of iron uh, ivermectin ivermectin is basically inhibitor of important ivermectin is basically inhibitor of this uh, important complex so it means once this complex has been, has been inhibited by the important now what will happen the capsid protein of the virus the capsid protein of the virus they will not be able to get enter into the nucleus when they will not get entry into the nucleus obviously they will not be able to inhibit the antiviral mechanism of our uh, uh, of host cell they will not be able to inhibit the gene expression of interferon they will not be able to uh, inhibit the gene expression of other cytokines that are going to activate the innate immune response so in this way ivermectin uh has some antiviral activity as well it has been uh, uh, used uh, uh, in the previous study it has been shown that ivermectin have also antiviral activity against hiv and uh, dengue virus and again the mechanism of say mechanism of action is same that this ivermectin will basically inhibit the uh, important uh, alpha and important beta complex so this is the mechanism by which ivermectin act Uh, we are very hopeful that uh, uh, hopefully this drug will be soon approved by fda for a clinical trial and then for the treatment of coronavirus 
let's hope for the best uh, i am very much sure that you must like the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the future videos thank you so much